Good evening. I've been working in the studio all day, first day back after Christmas break, and it feels pretty good. My body is a little sore, hands are a little sore, so I started out making some mugs today, and I want to bring you with me. I filmed a bunch of it, and I want to first show you um, just a couple videos of me making the body of the mugs, and you can watch along with that, and then... I want to walk you through sort of step by step of what I'm thinking and what I'm doing each step of the way as I'm making that body of the mug. So I hope you want to stick around and watch that and hopefully it can help. Hi, I'm Amy, a potter with over a decade of experience making and selling pottery. But enough about me. I'm here to help you grow your crafty business and teach you a little bit about making pottery too. So let's get started.
is my last mug of the day. I thought I would go through while I was making it and narrate it for you, just my thoughts for each step of the process. And maybe that can help you to make the body of a mug for yourself. I'll try and be as specific as I go through each little step. Um, I might forget some things and I might mess up because I'm not very good at talking and throwing at the same time. So <laughs> wish me luck. Here we go. Okay, first thing, this is fairly dry, it's not slippery. This is just centering it, smoothing out all the bumps, and making sure it's secure onto the bat. So, I don't splash a whole bunch of water on it. Wet my hands like that. And I find that's enough to get the ball of clay wet. And go as fast as you can on the wheel. I'm just going to stop this for a second. <clears throat> Bracing my arms. And I have this as one really hard contact point. And this is kind of holding it in. So I don't cone up right away. I smush it all down and smooth out the bumps. And then I go in and I cone up. I go in with this point right at the base, like that. And then go up straight. I'll stop there and show you what it's starting to look like. There's a few bumps up around here. Uh, you don't want to go too tight on this or else you'll rip the top off. Now I'm just going to smooth out the top. I'm not going to pull it up anymore. Then I'm going to support it on one side and smoosh it down on the other. Actually, I'm smooshing it down with my thumbs, supporting it with this hand. Now I'm pushing in with this hand and pushing down with my thumb and holding it in with the base, these two little spots right here down at the bottom, so you don't get a big giant rim of clay down there. All right, now we're ready to open. Thumb goes in, almost down to the bottom, but I stop when it's about this far, and then the thumb pulls it open. Add a little more water and now I'm going to smooth out and compress the bottom. Going back and forth with the sponge, I'm smoothing it out. So I don't need any more water, I just use the slurry that's on my hands. Actually, I'll put just a little drip there. Now I'm going to I'm going to compress it in a little bit because this is a bit bigger than what I work with. I'm just going to push it all in together like that and I'm going to hold it with my thumb on the inside just slightly and I'm going to raise it up. I'm pulling. There's a big bead at the top that's right on uh, my thumb is right under it and I'm pulling it up. I'm using this and my thumb right here pulling it up. So this first shape, I start with a shape I call the volcano. It's basically every time it's going in and then it flares out just a little bit. Looks like a little mini science fair project volcano. Just a little tiny drip of water going down the side and a little tiny drip of water going down the side. Now I'm going to catch a little bit of water on the bottom compress the rim and get the slurry off the rim. Now I'm going to pull up. This next pull is going to be my two 
middle fingers going up. In this next pull, I'm aiming at height, but I'm also going to start suggesting the shape of the mug that I want. I want a belly and then a neck like this. So this pull is height, but also a little bit of suggestion of the shape. And I'm going to take this finger and dig it in quite a bit right at the base. Now this wears my fingernail down and it is gritty, but this is how I get this sort of lip. My camera stopped recording on the last one, but I do have this one more. This is gonna be like a little cappuccino cup. So it's a little wider than my normal mugs. But back to where we were. Get a little bead right at the base and then pull that bead of clay up. Shaping. Cappuccino cups are a little more open at the top. They don't have that narrow neck. Get the water off. Compress the rim. All right, now we're ready for the next pull. A few little drops to go down. You can see how little that is. Just a few little drops going down the inside. That's all you need. Now, this rib, the sharp point, is going to dig down underneath a little bit. And my finger is going to be on the other side supporting it. It's going to catch this little foot of clay, this little bead of clay at the bottom. And it's going to start to pull it up because we're going to bring that up too. We're not going to cut it off or trim it off or anything. And then we're going to shape the walls again slowly, thinking we're getting all of the bumps out, smoothing the walls out. I want this to be a little wider. And then I like a flared lip, so I'm gonna turn this around and use this curve. Give a little neck and a little lip. And <coughs> compress the rim and get the water off. All right, that's pretty good. Okay, wash your hands, dry your hands. This next part, I'm going to lift the mug up off of the bat after wiring it off. So you need very dry hands. You need steady hands. You need to hold the mug at all pressure points, no squeezing or anything. Let me just double dry my hands. And we're gonna wire it off and quickly pick it up right after because if you leave it to sit too long on the bat, it'll stick again. So a quick wire and lift. Now you can see it's a little squished, but that's okay. So I don't know if you can see the uh, shape of that. The cappuccino cup, because it's wider, will do that. Now I'm just going around and lightly pushing it back into shape. Once it's leather hard, you'll be able to go in and move it back into shape quite a bit more than that. But that's not too bad. That's pretty round right there. Oh, okay. Well, that was a good day's work. <laughs> um, so hopefully you like that. Hopefully that helped you. If you have any questions at all about any of the things that I did today or showed you today, uh, write me a message down below and I'll try to answer them. Might even be able to answer them in another video. Uh, I will also be filming and making more videos 
as I do the other steps of the mug, like trimming and handles. I'm gonna have a lot of videos about handles because um, we all love handles and they're so important. So we gotta get them right. Um, but yeah, so follow along for that stuff if you're interested. I'll be making a whole bunch more uh, pottery and videos to go along with it. Thanks. I'm here to help. You got this, you can do this, and everyone is cheering for you. Oh, I'm...